Hey guys, Spooky Squid here. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be something I've seen other makeup YouTubers do, and it is if I could only keep 10 palettes. So stick around. If I could only keep 10 palettes. I was looking through my collection and I got rid of a lot of palettes uh, not too long ago, so I don't have as many as I thought, but still thought this would be a fun video. Um, these are not my favorite palettes, but these are kind of what I was thinking, like if, um, if I was only to keep 10 palettes, which ones would I be uh, able to do like more different looks and be more versatile together? So anyway, let's get started. <laughs> first one on my list is the Naked Heat palette. Um, I'm not a huge Urban Decay fan. Their formula is pretty inconsistent, but I really, really do love the color story in this. It's very warm toned and I have gotten a lot of fun looks out of this one. Uh, it's a pretty neutral palette, so typically I'll wear it for work or it's pretty easy to get a nice look out of it. I'll just like use a couple shadows and you can get like a really nice look. So I thought it would be good to have as, like if I could only keep 10 of them, thought this would, would be a really good one to have. Also, I do think that their formula has gotten better since this palette. So just wanted to put that out there. I'm debating on whether getting the Naked Honey, but I'm probably gonna pass on that one. I haven't gotten it yet, so I mean, it's, Obviously not something that I would reach for if I'm not buying it right away. So the second one on my list is the Tardius Pro palette. Um, so this is what it looks like on the inside. You've got a lot of mattes and this row here is all shimmers. Again, it's another very like warm tone palette, but it is different from the Naked Heat. So I thought I'd put it on my 10 palettes just because it's a nice neutral palette and it's pretty versatile and there's a lot of like nice shades in here that I've used a lot. Like I've put quite the dent in this one here. So I should probably use this more. I really do enjoy this one, but it's just, I buy new stuff and then this falls back, but it's a fun one. I like it. So another neutral palette that is on my list here is the Killer Purr palette by Menagerie Cosmetics. Um, it is a neutral palette, but it has a lot of like grungy tones that I really do love. Like these two here, and along with the mustard green there, you can just do like this whole like 90s look and it's so fun. Like it is a neutral palette, but it's a completely different take on it. So. I've been really enjoying this one. It's really fun to use and I can get a lot of like different looks out of it. And so this one's the ne last neutral palette, I swear, <laughs> but it's the Going Coconuts palette by ColourPop. And yep, just a cool tone neutral palette. And I really love this one. So, and I use it a lot for like everyday neutral look. Well, not so much now, cause I mean, I haven't really been doing my makeup lately, but <laughs> apart for Instagram and YouTube and stuff. Otherwise, I just don't even bother. But this is a nice palette and it's also like really nice for traveling. So not that I'm gonna go anywhere, but it's nice to have something that I can just throw in the suitcase and forget about it. For someone that really likes colors, I really do have a lot of neutral palettes. First one on the list that's not a neutral palette is the um, Strawberry Shake by ColourPop. I really love this one. Like the shimmers are gorgeous and I just have so much fun with this palette. Like I can, like every time I do something, I just, with this palette, I just feel like so cute, like a little doll. So yeah, this one is definitely staying on my list. I think it's the palette that I use the most from ColourPop. So number six um, is the Sweet Violet by Violet Voss. I just put it in there because I find it's really hard for companies to make a really, really nice purple palette. And this one is perfect. Like you have your deeper 
kind of indigo purple tones, like true purple, and then some more like, you know, you even have a lavender tone and a more pinky tone and like all these shimmers. And it's just, it's so fun to use. And I've gotten quite a bit of looks out of this. Like you can do something really nice and soft and ethereal, and you can go like straight up, like really dark and like goth. So yeah, this, this one is definitely gonna be in my, you know, palettes if I do have to only keep 10, so. Yeah, I've been really having fun with this one, so. So this one here, I have been enjoying this one so much. And initially I only got it, I, I looked at it and I was like, yeah, it's been done before. Like I've, I probably have these tones in my collection and I really don't. Um, they're just, like the duochromes in here are amazing. And honestly, I only got this because I do love Hannah. Like I love her channel. And when I heard she was collabing with Midas Cosmetics, I was like, well, there we go. I'm just gonna buy this because I really enjoy her as a YouTuber and I like her opinions. Um, I will link her YouTube down below if you're interested. But yeah, I have really been enjoying this palette and the formula is just incredible. And the colors are so much different than I would have thought. And it's so easy to use, so blendable. And I can get a neutral um, look out of it. I can get like a really pinky tone out of it. And like I've even done like just like brownish purplish tones and it's just it's such a fun palette and i'm i've been really having a lot of fun with it so definitely in my top 10 palettes if i i were to keep <laughs> so this one isn't really a um it's the alchemist palette by kvd vegan beauty now they're called obviously i got this years ago <laughs> and i it's not really like an eyeshadow palette per se, like they're more like eyeshadow toppers, but it's such a good companion palette. And especially me, like I, I really love doing like full face makeup and you know, kind of like body paint and just kind of out there makeup. And this is such a nice addition just to like add on to it and give a look that extra oomph. So definitely in my top 10. And also, I think they're on sale for $10 now on, on their website. So yeah, if you're interested, it's pretty cheap and it's worth it. And the last one is the Pastel Pup palette by Menagerie Cosmetics. And it is like a really nice take on a pastel palette. Like none of these shades, like I do have a lot of pastel palettes in my collection and I don't have these shades are just so different and like, like especially this corally one and even like this lavender shade, like it's, I, I've been using this shade a lot along with um, Ice Cap here and Whiskers. Well, people are complaining about the fact that there's like a white and a black in this palette, but they're magnets, you can switch them out if you want. But I have I really like the fact that there's a white and a black one because it makes this palette just a lot more versatile. And I don't know, I really like the packaging, it's super cute. So that's it for today. Let me know in the comments if uh, you have any of these palettes, which ones are your favorite, which ones would you keep, or if you do want to make like another one of these videos. If you want to tag me, I always like watching these types of videos. So yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.